Tune out with some dank munchies right about now. Got literally one one left in the batch. And it's being podged right now. So this coming Sunday evening. Hello, Carla. This coming Sunday evening. I'm going to batch going for sale. Hmm. You know that beer brand biscuit thing in that cup? Excellent. You cut that sucker in half, you can make a mean sandwich bun with it. It's a little YouTube hack video that I did. And when I discovered that hack, I had to share it. It was, it was too cool. So um, that jelly biscuit cup recipe that I did on YouTube just a minute ago, not too long ago, actually. I did that shit by myself because it's on my wall. Now, if you're single on Valentine's Day, don't stress it, dude. They call it single awareness for a reason. Reflect upon why you're single. Maybe you have good intention. Maybe because the dating scene's just kind of shitty and you're more patient. Maybe your standards are high, but it is what it is. It's an excuse to get drunk and just relax at your place, whatever, do your thing, you know what I'm saying? And don't even worry about getting laid on Valentine's Day. That's like the most cliche thing to do. Like, I cannot stress this enough. Like, that's the one time of year where you're just like, oh man, you know, I've been laid in a while, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm gonna use that as the perfect excuse to, nah, dude, no. Good things come to those who wait patiently, I suppose the old saying goes, right? So maybe single awareness could be being aware of why you're single. Maybe you have good intention for doing it. Being single is not a punishment. If anything, is to see if you have market value on the dating scene. And both men and women do that shit, so it is what it is. I made a um 
high calorie snack here because uh yeah easy as fuck to make and good I mean, Lester Crowley would live off of bread and water for just a little bit. Then it helped him out. Like, could you imagine? I don't know, a lot of a lot of the women get so sick of that shit on Valentine's Day. They're probably in the same boat you are, they're single, whatever. They don't want some guy jumping down their fucking pants because oh it's bad you know what I'm saying? Maybe they just want to watch a good movie and eat chocolates and be content, you know what I'm saying? They get out of a shitty relationship with some piece of shit loser, and they're just like, me time. Guys do that shit too when they have a bad relationship. It's no lie. Now, society may say, well, if you don't have somebody, you're a loser. That's bullshit. It just means that society's not content with itself. Because society pressures everyone into that kind of crap to a degree. Well, I'm going to have to show you cool covers and make this real quick. Hold on a second. simple food hack. I mean, it, it don't matter. You just use like grape jelly in a jar or squeeze. It don't matter. I want to squeeze it. A nice fat dollop in there to mix up. There we go. Now that you got the bread mixture in there, just like that. Of course, a pinch more on top. All right. This will be the last one I'm making for the evening, but I'm going to repeat the process once more. Just so you can see how to make these delicious looking bastards for yourself. That's cool if you don't follow me on YouTube, so this is actually kind of handy. Oops. 
shut people down. Give it a splash of water. As soon as I mixed it up, the water level went down along with the ingredients. This does make a mess out of your coffee cups, but it does produce a rather interesting little biscuit. If you're doing like a breakfast sandwich and you wanted something different for your breakfast sandwich you could do something like this or maybe like a splash of beer in there before you microwave it by the time you're done doing it you can cut this bread and half make like little breakfast sliders with it you know what i'm saying or pour this mixture into a bigger bowl and make the buns bigger you know the same Now that we got this to a nice pasty consistency, we'll be right back. That microwave was so powerful that literally two minutes, three, two minutes and 34 seconds is enough for something that small. Let's get a microwave up and fluff up and turn into what you saw me eat earlier. No bullshit. Now we're about to see what happens at the end of 44 seconds or so. It doesn't take that long to make. That's the nice thing about it. Now about the trusty billiard or click. See, I've never had a problem with fixing pipes with electrical tape before. That's the weird thing. So, why? You know what I'm saying? It's the weirdest thing. I've literally never had a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it sucks. But it could be worse. Hold on one second. Now, what is the result of our little experiment? Seems to have puffed up into a biscuit. Would you look at that? 
Huh. Now we're gonna take this clean fork. And we'll just go around in a circle and kind of dig it out of here. Once you get it started, it pretty much just it is a small chunk of it. Is that it? Get it out of it. Fish bags to the ground. This right here is just simple junk food at its finest. It's not going to sustain you, but it will fix the craving temporarily. And I ain't tripping out about it because it could be worse, man. It really could be. Life has a funny way of putting things into perspective. Let me fucking tell you. I don't even want to get into it, to be honest. But, mixed all, all that jelly into the bread and as soon as it hit the microwave it all just nuked and melted together and this is what you're left with that recipe that I had earlier and if you want to amp this up put in just a little bit of peanut butter maybe some cinnamon and brown sugar oatmeal splash in Nutella a little bit of that jelly and you do the same thing yeah, it produces a uh, biscuit-like bread. You're basically making something out of nothing. I've heard of a cupcake, but a cup biscuit, well, I kind of took the turn on things, yeah. It's better than nothing. And of that jelly. That's a nice, um, adds a very nice sweetness to it. That sounds awesome. <sighs> mm. I already had one of those at the beginning of the video and people see me eating it, they're like, okay, what are you eating? How the fuck do you make it? Oh, there you go.
I definitely expect. A fresh batch of wands. Come on up. Fresh Sunday. That turned out nice. I didn't use painter's tape, I just freehanded it. And I had to wait for the red and black to dry before I added the glow in dark tip, otherwise it would have turned it pink. And not the wrong that, I'm just saying that's not what I was going for. Yeah, buddy. That'd be Augie's wand. Right there. I think it's sick. As soon as that wand is completely done drying on the porridge, that batch is going out for sale. 